This is the time of year when Samba schools across Brazil get to strut their stuff. Each develops original routines to showcase their skills, hoping to become carnival champions. CCTV's Lucretia Franco has more. It is one of Rio's main sources of pride and the high point of the city's legendary carnival, a contest of beauty and originality between the 12 top samba schools in a battle to become this year's carnival champions. The two-day extravaganza began with torrential rain, which didn't dampen spirits. For many, it came as a blessing, a break from one of the worst droughts in history. This rain that we were expecting is very good for nature. It is very good for the school. Good news for the city celebrating its 450th anniversary this year, a milestone used by several schools to evoke the African roots of carnival. It's very important to show through this wonderful party what black people brought to Brazil. Covered in umbrellas, some 70,000 people watching the show live rooted for the schools that spent big money and invested months of hard work to put on this dazzling spectacle. The biggest show on earth, Brazilians call it, brought an estimated one million visitors to Rio. They're expected to spend around 500 million US dollars here. This year's carnival is especially important for Rio de Janeiro. The city is not only celebrating its 450th anniversary, but it's also getting ready for the 2016 Summer Olympic Games, the first ever in South America. Rio de Janeiro has 365 days of happiness and party, of big celebrations and big events that we are preparing. We already host the best carnival in the world, and we'll do the best Olympics in history. Nothing seems to dampen Rio's carnival spirit, a city that is eager to show the world it is capable of throwing a world-class party and organize mass events like no other place on earth. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.